Hey everybody. Y'all know if you've been watching this channel for some time that I am not one for hype and jumping on bandwagons and releasing a video the day something comes out or calling things game changers. But uh, <laughs> I'm gonna break that today and just say that I am so excited to see this new feature that just got announced. Look at this. Claude Code is getting a brand new feature, custom sub-agents. Type the slash agent commands, and we get automatic switching and automatic selection of agents running by Claude Code. What does this mean? Now, Claude Code can take on any persona and do it automatically when it needs it. This has been one of the things that I have been wanting to build into the BMAD method for some time. So I am just so excited about this. So I'm going to be working on the installer and updating the BMAD method to have the install option for when you select Claude code to set it up with these new sub agents and we'll see how it works. This could be a potential, <laughs> I guess I'm going to say it, this could be a potential game changer. I didn't want to say game changer because I know that's overused and cliche, but I'm just really excited about this. You know, I made my own Claude slash agents command because a lot of times I don't want to build up the whole heavyweight uh, BMED method. Sometimes, for example, I'm just taking notes and I just want a quick agent to chat chat with like I used to do with custom GPTs. And so I have a slash agent command. I just throw a file in a folder. I give that a name and I put my agent persona and what it's about in there and any information it needs, which by the way, if you ever just want to get, you know, get going yourself. And if you're ever wondering how I, you know, came out with this BMAD method or how other people comes up with these methods, just try to make your own agents. Cause what are agents really there? they are prompts that you've stored. Maybe you, maybe you have like a really good prompt or a way to, you know, work with ChatGPT or Claude, right? Not even on coding potentially. And then, you know, later on you want to do the same thing. And so you're repeating that whole prompt, save that prompt, put it in a file, give it in a name and a persona. You now have your own custom agent made for anything you want to do, right? And that at the end of the day is the core of the BMAD method. But now the ability to take these and easily create these in Claude is very, or excuse me, in um, in Claude code is very exciting. So what I had done actually up until today is I have this lightweight, just little agent framework that I set up, you know, two or three files. I type slash agent and then the name of one of my agent files in a folder and it loads it. And I'll scope those. For example, I have a whole Obsidian notebook that I run out of VS Code. And I have folders for different projects that I work on. I have folders about different subjects. And I'll have agents that are expert in each of those different subjects. So when I do slash agents and talk to, say, Agent Bob, right? Agent Bob knows about folder foo, and he knows about all those files, and he knows how to help me with that subject. And this has worked great. But the magic of what's coming now with this built-in slash agents command that I'm so excited about is these are all actually running in their own sub-processes. Look, let's, let's check out the uh, Claude code documentation here. Y'all, this is, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if y'all are as excited about this as I am. I'm so excited to get this into the BMAD method. But uh, yeah, check this out here, right? So like, what are sub-agents? You know, they have a specific purpose and expertise area. They use their own context window. They can be configured with specific tools. In other words, you can set them up and control which MCPs they have access to, and this will be enforced, which has been one of the weaker points of the BMAD method, but we've had things like that in uh, Cursor where you can, you know, create the agents from the BMAD mode of per uh, personas. For example, your PM agent in Cursor, you could tell it what it is and is not allowed to do and what MCP tools it can't do. So for example, when you set up your PM agent in cursor, you can make sure it will never start randomly going off the rails and modifying, uh, modifying code. But in Claude, you know, we would do that with, with words that we put into the agent file, you know, before this. But sometimes, you know, it might not follow that. But with this, now we can actually tell it what it's allowed to do, what it's not, and Claude will help us enforce that. And we can also, include custom system prompts that guides it, guides its behavior. This is going to be a new feature that I think is going to unlock so many things. But let's look at some of these key benefits that they're laying out here. Context preservation. Each sub-agent operates in its own context, preventing pollution 
of the main conversation and keeping it focused on high level objectives. This is now going to be able, this is now going to give us the ability to have a true orchestrator that could potentially run in the same chat instance and then have different agents do different things. So imagine you're working through your developer cycle and you have the scrum master come online, generate the story, and then go out of scope. It's going to free up that context. And then the developer comes in and starts working on it. And maybe you're following TDD, so you could have the QA agent actually producing tests, switching to the developer, implementing, switching back and forth until the story is done. They both go out of context. You're still in the same context window. And now your QA agent comes in, and we have it actually reviewing the code, maybe refactoring it, making sure that all the acceptance criteria was really met, getting that extra level of sophistication that we want to ensure that we're producing good quality, clean code, and that it's actually following our architecture and the instructions that the Scrum Master laid out. And then that goes out of context, and then your Scrum Master can come in and potentially even do a final review or pull information that the dev and the Scrum Master left his notes in there excuse me, the dev or the QA, take those notes, prepare the next story, and the cycle repeats. So integrating the BMAD method or whatever method you use, again, you don't have to use the BMAD method, but with these sub-agents, this is going to be so powerful. Imagine you're not a software developer, and I've been saying this for a long time, the BMAD method is about so much more than software development. Product managers and project managers, they use it for planning roadmaps or creating big picture visions. Um, I talked about it in the last video. Uh, one of my great supporters that I'm so thankful for, again, Emmanuel, a clinical psychologist, using it to help him with clinical psychology, nothing to do with software development. I know people that are using the concepts of creating these small agents to help them with their business, help them run their lives, it's like using ChatGPT, but programming it with knowledge and understanding at the end of the day, creating your own custom agents. And now this gives us a much better way to do it in Claude code. So context preservation is a huge one. Specialized expertise, if you've been using the BMAD method or anything I've just been talking about, of course, you understand what that means. Flexible permissions, I just mentioned that, that's going to be a great thing because now we can scope different agents to only do certain different things. Very exciting. And reusability. Sub-agents can be used across different projects and shared with the team for consistent workflows. This is a huge one, and this is going to be a big and factful change to BMAD method when you're using the Claude version of the installation. So big changes coming soon. I can't wait to see what this is capable of. I'm just learning about this right now. I just heard about this a little bit ago. Again, I know this is probably seeming like a little bit too much hype and being rushed out. And I don't know how well this is going to work, but if this is any like anything like what I've seen from some of the other frameworks in the past that have had sub-agents, I know this is going to be a game changer. And just with the quality of Claude code in general and what it's able to do, you know, with its own internal tasking, and it already had, you know, sub-processes where it could shard and do things in parallel and not pollute the context, this is basically building on top of that, but now giving us the ability to inject those agents and keep them separate and not polluting the main context. So this opens up the door again to real parent orchestration of different agents, automatic switching, automatically loading them when they're needed, controlling what tools they do and do not have access to. So exciting, so exciting, everybody. I encourage everybody, if you're using Claude Code, check out the docs here and start trying to use this agent mode, just slash agents. And what's really cool too is if you just want to prototype an agent, you, it's it's so easy. You just type slash agents and just describe the agent you want and it will create the agent file for you. This is almost like auto-generating rules in cursor, right? Or some of the other IDEs. And then you can go in there and tweak it just like we do with rules in other systems. You create the rules, keep it simple, see what works, see what doesn't work, and then tweak the file and try it again. Very exciting, guys. This is this is unexpected. I did not even know that this was coming out yesterday, today. I don't know if they've been talking about this, but this just kind of fell out of nowhere. Uh, some people in the uh, Discord community let me know about this, and uh, I was just so excited to reach out and see this. I went in, I updated Claude code, and you can see right here when you update, here's the message about it. It's giving you instructions how to use it. So. 
Have fun with this, everybody. I look forward to hearing how people are using this and look for big changes with the Claude Code version of the BMAT installer very soon as we work hard in the community to get this incorporated and worked into this amazing system. Thank you, everybody. My name is Brian. This is BMAD Code. I know this was a little bit more hype than normal, but please, uh, you know, just, just understand that I'm just very excited about this and I wanted to share this with all of you. So enjoy, and we will see you next time here on BMAD Code.